Alright, so it's the week. <laughs> Alright, so it's week 13, day 6. Seats. Uh, so, last technical, technically the last day of the, of the exercises for the week, tomorrow's rest slash stretch day. Obviously, I'll be down here doing a, a stretch. Um, and then Monday we move on to the three of ten segment. So that using the, the weights and equipment again. Um, again, kind of excited to see how that's going to play out for the next six weeks uh, versus what I did for the last six seven weeks. So um, obviously, I know today's not my um, results day, but. Um, I did go through and I found my monthly progress pictures for the first three months that I um, I had from like eight years ago. So I know I keep bringing that up, but and I found the chart too. So because the pictures don't show any any information like the pictures I show I show now, uh, which if you go to my Instagram you can see the, the pictures there. Um, but I have I have up in the up in the uh, left hand corner um, all the measurements or weight whatever uh, it's got the weight body fat BMI and the measurement on my waistline stomach and then it has the date um, the date and where we are so it'll say like one week two weeks one month two months whatever it says. Um, but the pictures do have the date on them, at least the month. It's, let's say September 14, October, November, and December. And I'm like, that's a big difference. And I knew, I knew it was a huge difference in the first place just because I was doing more and I know what I, I, I did um, as far as weight, fat, loss. Um, just kind of roundabout. I know how quickly it came off because of how much extra I was doing compared to now. Um, but I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not anywhere near where I was. I'm like, I was like, but I also checked the chart. I found the chart, and it looks like in September of 14, I started at 42 inches around my stomach. Uh, I started this one in April at 46 and a quarter around my stomach. So that's that's a lot bigger <laughs> than than before. So, but during that, from that um, that start picture. Um, I might as well I'll just put it up here for um, the YouTube people to see. Um, uh, I really can't pull it up for you guys. I've been like pulling up on my phone and be like, here, you can you know, see it. Um, but uh, I will use it in my, um, my results video I make tomorrow or Monday. So if you do want to see that, that'll be in the results video. Um, that I, I, I post the next day or two, so. Or it'll be up on YouTube as soon as this video is posted, which should be by the end of the day or tomorrow morning. Uh, anyway, so right there, um, I started at 42 inches on in September of 14, and by the, I don't have the numbers uh, pulled up. That's the whole reason I got the extra phone, so I could use my phone and have this available to do what I need to do. So, uh, September 14th is when I started that in 2014. I was at 42 inches around my stomach. Um, so one month, the one month time frame, the October picture would have been October 12th. I was at 39 and a quarter, so I lost nearly three inches in a month. Um, so it's, Quite a bit, <laughs> actually. Um, and then November, that would have been November 16th, I was at 36 and a half. So again, nearly three inches in another month. Um, but by the time we got to uh, December, uh, which is the third third month, so September is the start, October, November, December, uh, the fourth picture on there was 35. So I lost an inch, like an inch and a half in that last one. Which, 
is what's going to happen. The, the more fat you lost, the quick, the, the closer you get to where you want to be, the harder it's going to be to get that last little bit off anyway. So, um, but that's seven inches in three months. Um, so I can't really compare the first picks. That's 42, 42 and 35. I started at 46 and a quarter. So even if I hit seven inches, um, that would be uh, 39 and a quarter. Uh, so it would be just under 40. Um, and 40 is where I wanted to be by tomorrow, which isn't going to happen. So, um, But if you compare what I did in uh, eight years ago compared to what I'm doing now, um, right now I'm doing roughly three to four exercises per muscle group twice a week. Um, depending on you know, what day you're looking at, because leg day is different. Um, like I have a total of three calf exercises, two on Wednesday, one on um, Saturday. So. Um, a little different, but however, um, all of the stuff that I'm doing, that I'm spread out between all those exercises that I'm doing, um, spread out through the week that I'm taking twice the week to do, or I'm doing twice a week, the actual muscle groups twice a week. Um, I was doing all the exercises. So what I did on Monday and Thursday, I did on Monday and Thursday. So I would, you know, both of these would be on the same day. And I would do it again. I would repeat it. Um, it would be a three-day cycle as opposed to a six-day cycle, if that makes sense. I think it should, should make sense. Um, so if you've been watching my videos or even the highlight videos, you, if, you, if you notice you go through, each day I'm doing different exercises other than the shoulder shrugs, which I do twice a week. So other than that, you don't see any of the other exercises repeat. You know, you'll see on, let's see, on Monday I do the bench presses the incline presses. On Thursday, I do decline presses. Um, you'll see barbell, easy bar curl on Tuesday, but all you see is dumbbell curls on Friday. So uh, back squats on Wednesday, wide plie squats on Wednesday, front squats on Saturday. Standing and seated calf raises on Wednesday, donkey calf raises on Saturday. So different exercises. So everything I was doing had spread out all week, I was doing twice a week. And on top of that, I was still doing a warm-up, 20 to 30 minute warm-up like I'm doing every morning now, uh, warm-up slash cardio. But I was also doing anywhere from two to six supplemental 45 minute cardios um, in the evening, depending on how much time I had tonight. Usually, for the most part, it was probably four uh, that I would do. Like, I would do it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and avoid doing it on like that. You know, so, um, so on, on the most time, it was four. So, if you think about it, I was doing twice the work on the main workouts, and I was doing extra cardio on the evening. So, that's why that dropped so fast uh, last time. So, however, I am going to take that, and I want to see, because I'm, I'm not too much far behind. Um, I was at 41 and a half inches this last Sunday. Uh, I have a feeling, at minimum, I should be, based off the past few weeks, at minimum, I should be at 41 and a quarter, which will put me at exactly five inches down. And comparatively, with the, with how much I was working out before versus what I'm doing now, um, versus the intensity of before versus what I've been doing now, um, and also age as well. That was eight years ago. I was 36, 44 now. So. So metabolism, as you get older, slows down. It's just natural. Um, 
so I think comparing uh, at that time, it was six weeks of three sets of ten, and then a six weeks of the reverse pyramid, um, which I'm still doing in my <clears throat> in my routine. This next segment is the three of ten, and then the last six weeks of the year. So um, that should be March to April. Uh, should be right around March first to the middle of April. Um, is Um, it's going to be the reverse pyramid. So I'm still doing those. It's just I did those. That was my routine for that three months. Um, so that is a more intense routine than doing six weeks of one of 30 uh, and then six weeks, seven weeks of two of 15. So even just that, I think, is a pretty good um, fat loss, I guess, um, for what I did versus what I was as much as I was working before. So I know if I would be, even if I would just do the extra cardio at night, uh, I wouldn't have to up the exercises, the workout, to double it, double the workout. If I just did the two, three, four cardios at night, um, I'd probably be closer to that seven inch loss right now without putting in as much as before. So I'll be using that. Um, my week 11 progress picture uh, was 42 inches. So I'm going to offset that. <clears throat> you know, I'm going to use my, my progress video um, this week, for this week, for week 13 just for a comparison on basically what I'm talking about right now. However, I'm also going to um, set it up uh, so whatever day week 11 was uh, and then the one month from there and compare those two pictures um, because that was 42 inches and then uh, whatever it is going to be there. Because now we're going into a little more intense workout. We're doing 3 to 10 and we're doing interval training as well. So in between sets uh, in between sets one and two, and in between sets two and three, I'll be doing some intermittent cardio as well, instead of just standing here, hopefully, instead of just standing here talking. Um, so, on top of the warm-up cardio that I'm doing beforehand, I will be doing the interval cardio in between sets. And then in between work, in between exercises, I'm just going to set up for the next exercise. Um, so, that's going to add a more cardio aspect to the workout in itself. And we're going to be going heavier with the weights. Um, and it's going to take a little longer anyway because we're doing three sets as opposed to two. Uh, and since the weights are heavier, it's probably going to take roughly the same amount of time to lift the 10, 10, 10 reps. Do 10 reps as it did to do 15. Just like it took roughly the same amount of time to do 15 as it did to do 30 on some of those. Uh, just, you knock out 30 pretty quickly. Those last few were a little hard ones, 15. Uh, about half those were as hard. So um, so I think that might kind of kickstart a little bit, give a little jump start, I guess. Uh, and hopefully, Hopefully, I'll be somewhat close in comparison to those. Also, next, starting starting on Monday, um, I'll be using a pre-workout before I come down here because I'll be doing a little more intense workout, so extra boost of energy is going to help. Um, also, the, the pre-workout that I use has a metabolic, metabolism booster as well. Uh, it's got the, I believe it has the L-carnitine. Um, which is a metabolism booster to help help maintain fat loss uh, while gaining muscle. Uh, and it, it's the C4 C4 Sports Ripped. I've used it before. It works well. Um, 
as far as the pre-workout goes. It's not very jittery. Um, gets your body going. You get a little itchy feeling, you know, <laughs> uh, from a pre-workout. Uh, so it, it does work. Um, pre-workout is just, just made to give you energy and boost you up a little, get you going. So, um, and no, before anybody asks, I'm not going to do this stupid little fucking, I'm going to take the scoop and just throw my mouth and like that. Nah, that's just stupid. Doesn't make you cool, doesn't make you a badass, doesn't make you a hard ass because you can do that. Just make you just, like, just, just dumb. If you want to do it and you think it's cool, whatever, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm not doing it because I don't have anything. I'm not trying to prove my, my badassness to people by shoving a thing of powder down my throat. Uh, also, I'll be taking creatine. Um, starting starting on Monday as well. So, um, creatine is the most researched supplement out there. It is very safe to use and everything else. So, um, but I've been taking creatine. Uh, it's not a steroid for anybody who's that way doesn't know. It's not a steroid. Um, it doesn't like jack your your muscle gains. It just what it does is it helps to uh, I guess drive more water around your muscles, which helps to heal them um, quicker uh, so they can recover better, recover quicker, and grow faster. So, um, basically it's like a cast for a broken foot for your muscles. Um, it just it just helps them to recover better. Uh, however, also with the with the addition to the, the addition of the creatine to my diet or supplements, whatever, um, the added water weight that I'm going to have is going to throw off the scale a little bit uh, in two parts. Going to probably be a little heavier uh, than I wanted to say, but again, weight is not my issue. Uh, I started this at 201.8. I'm roughly about 185 right now, which is perfectly fine. I would be happy if I stayed right around 180 pounds and not go any lower. Just lose the fat and gain the muscle. That would be ideal. So I'm fine with the weight that I'm at. Uh, weight is not my issue, so I don't really care if that goes down fast or not. Um, however, the body fat percentage uh, that is read by my scale, my body fat scale, is going to be off. It's going to look nicer, though, <laughs> because, um, again, I've, I've said this before, and I've explained how the, the scale works, and if you have one of these, you know how they work. Um, Basically, they have little pads on, on them. You have to, you don't have to stand on them barefoot if you just want to do your weight. You know, you can get on there, a pair of socks, whatever, and they'll just read your weight. Uh, but if you wanted to read your body fat, you have to stand on it barefoot. Uh, the the pads will send a very faint, very very faint. You don't even notice it. Electrical current through your body, up one side, down the other. And it measures the resistance in your body, how much resistance is in your body. Now, um, if you know water is a conductor of electricity, um, you will have a lot less resistance through water than you will through any you know, salt or whatever else. So, um, like if I set an electrical cable down here like an exposed wire down here, um, and I stood over, somebody stood over there, it's not going to electrocute them, but it very well might burn towards them. Uh, however, if there's a pool of water, or a line of water going to there, and the person over there standing in, at the end of the water, it's going to instantaneously shock them. I mean, maybe not be powerful to electrocute them, but it might shock, it'll shock them. Like instantly, 
Um, so water is a very good conductor of electricity. So the more water in your body, the more water, the more hydrated you are, the less resistance the scale is going to read. So um, muscle holds more water naturally anyway than fat, and that's how it tells um, your body fat percentage. So there is a little more down here. Anyway. Um, Muscle holds more water than fat does. So even without the creatine, um, the more muscular you are, you are with less fat, obviously, is going to read less resistance, which is how it reads the body fat, calculates the body fat percentage that you have. So um, another good example is last week uh, when I was dehydrated because I was sweating all night because I had low-grade fever. Um, I lost a lot of water weight. So when I got up in the morning on Sunday to take my measurements, um, my body fat percentage jumped about you know, roughly about 5%. But my hydration level, because it tells you that too on the scale, dropped about 5% as well. So uh, I've been running about 54% on the hydration level for the past month or so watching the body fat percentage go down without the hydration level changing. That's, that, that's a good sign right there. But when I jumped on there, it was 49%, and my body fat percentage jumped up from 25-ish to 31-ish percent. There was an issue there, and it was the hydration level, not the fact that I gained a lot of weight, a lot of fat in a week. So, on the opposite side, taking the creatine is going to make my body, make your body, our bodies, whatever creatine makes the body retain water. So I will have additional weight because of the water weight, but the body fat percentage is going to have less resistance to read because there's more water in the body. So it might throw off the body fat percentage as well. So. But over the course of however long I take the creatine, um, after the first week or so, it's going to settle into whatever it is. So the um, first week or two might be a little, be thrown off a little bit, but after that, from that point, it should go back to a proper, it'll still be off, but at least it'll be back to, you know, based off what I started with it'll be thrown off, so, uh, or it'll be hopefully going in the right direction completely after that, so. Um, so like if I hop on the scale tomorrow and it's 185 pounds and um, 25 even body fat, would you say that? Um, I hop on the scale the next week after a week of uh, taking creatine I might be up to like 186, 187, and the body fat percentage might drop to like 21, 22. Yeah, just throwing numbers out there. Um, and next week it might be still heavier and way lower than it should be. But from there, it should start going like this again. So from that point. And if I stop taking the creatine, after a few weeks or so, you'll see a switch there. But Creatine is not expensive um, for what, what it is, uh, so it's not, it's, complete, it's completely safe. So I will probably continue to take it from here on out um, now that I'm actually getting into heavier lifting. So at least heavier lifting for me. Maybe not for you, but for me. So that's where we're at. So yeah, again, it's week 13, day 6, okay, last day of exercises. Today is going to be cardio slash abs. Uh, we'll be just, again, 
all week this week. It's recovery week, so we're uh, just following along videos. You don't have to follow along videos for recovery week. That's what I'm doing. So. Everybody left. Stop throwing up. I even noticed some comment. Stop throwing up gang signs at me. <laughs> I talk with my hands. Um, Anyway, today's workout is going to be uh, hip hop abs, uh, fat burning cardio, and the abs sculpt video. So, uh, roughly in about 30 minutes on the one, about 22 to 23 minutes on the second one. Um, I'm going to skip the cool down on the first one because it sucks anyway, and I will probably just do my own stretch at the end of the other one because that would. I don't like these stretch. I like the hip hop. I, I like the beach body videos, um, but I, I think the only one, honestly, the only one that I've done from the beach body um, series stuff that I have, the only one that has a decent cool down and stretch at the end is going to be uh, P90X. That's that's the only one that I have done um, that has a it's a good cool down, even in Sandy. Insanity, it's decent. I mean, they, they cool you down. You just basically, you just kind of, you stop being intense and you just kind of just cool yourself down. Uh, there is a better, I think a better stretch aspect to it as well because you're working your legs pretty hard. In, 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 in insanity. But, I like the hip hop ad videos. I love the Turbo Jam videos, but their cool downs and stretches at the end are just, they're, they're some fun. Um, like, it's, you'd be better, it's just better off just not doing them, honestly. The cool downs, the cool downs in the Turbo Jam videos are fine. I mean, because again, it's just slowing down your pace. That's what a cool down is. You know, you go from doing it, going however intense you're going, you're like, you know, and stuff, and then you cool down. It's just like going for a run. You go for a run, and then you slow down to a little jog at the end, and then you're walking fast, you slow down to a regular walk until you catch your breath. That's, that's all the cool down is. So, um, so the cool downs in the Turbo Jam videos are fine, um, but the stretching at the end, they give you like two minutes and half minutes I'm doing this. And then they're like, okay, let's stretch those hamstrings. And they just basic stretch for like 30 seconds. And that's, that's about it. And they think that's a stretch. Especially in the app sculpt video on this one. I think it's hilarious. They do a quick stretch back like that. And the other ones are stretching your hamstrings. And like, app sculpt. Goofy cats, they're young cats. They're about, uh, they're four. They're four years old. Wow, they're four years old. Yeah, because I found them, I found them there, we, or we found them at work. Tech found them at work. Um, they're about a week old. Their, their eyes and ears weren't quite open yet, but they opened up pretty quickly after I took them home within a week. So they're, they're roughly about a week old because everything I read said they, their ears and, ears and eyes would be fully open in about two, two weeks. So, um, based off of that, I think we found them on May 10th, 2018. So, yeah, they're just over four years old. And then the older cat, he showed up on my porch in August, I think, of 2000. Maybe 2019, I don't remember. 2020, I think. So. And they said he was about six years old at the time. He lays around, he's lazy. But he knows he knows when it's playtime. You know, he wants he wants his playtime. He loves to like cut, like wrestle and play bite and stuff. Um, never bites hard, ever. Never bites hard. The other two haven't learned that yet. Like, I'll try to pet him. And it'll start like, you know, and 
and actually bite a little hard. They never, never pierce the skin, but they bite hard and then they start scratching. He needs to declaw, so he really can't scratch me, but I didn't declaw me. That's just how I got it. But I get out of the shower, as soon as I get out of the shower, walk into the bedroom, he perks up, he's he, he wants to start playing because he knows the way to leave. So um, when he plays, it's it's he loves it. belly scratches start play biting and I stop, pull the perk back up, start meowing me again. So I come back over and I start doing it. And if I don't, I start getting like dressed and getting my socks on and stuff on the bed. He'll come over and up on the bed next to me and start meowing me because he wants to play. Uh, that's how he likes to play. So other than that, he just kinda lays in the bed. <laughs> so anyway, I'm done. This should, I don't know if it's going to start where we're supposed to or not. It should start. I know it's going to start. I'm probably going to have to start. Okay. See, it's weird. I think if it turns off on its own, I turn it back on. I think that's what it is. After I, if the disc is already in there, I turn it on. It doesn't go right to playing it. But if I put the disc in after I turn it on, it goes right to playing it. I think that's how it works. So, anyway. Come, come, come. Come on, go, talk to me 
right here, work. Now what we're gonna do here, walk forward to the right. Walk out, walk. Now, yeah, other side. Now what we're doing here, this is just your time to be like, I'm cute and I'm working out. And guess what? I'm doing some ass. Yeah. I ain't gonna show you too much now, but here we go. Now, this is called the walking shape. You know why? Because you can walk forward here. Take it out the other side. Work it out. Shake it out. Other side. Go ahead. Now stop, look. Hey, I'm gonna do something with it, but I'm gonna do that. Look, look it up. Push. One more time. Go. Push now. What we do here, walk to the other side. Now, take the arms to the baby. Now, one. Other side. Come on. Hit it. You got it? Feel it. Tilt up tight. Do it again. Work. How are we doing, y'all? Hey, y'all do it. And do it again. We just move it. Ready? Now, if you want, you can put your hands to your knees. Make it look cute and still use your ass like this. Look. Ooh. Yeah, go. Hit. I'm going to stay up because I still want to work here. But you can make it fun how you want. Do it again, right? Now push. Good. One more time, right here. Now listen, we're going to go back into the pump it up. The slow one, two and two. Let's go. Look. Pump it up, y'all. Tighten up the core, y'all. Do you got it? Feel it? Come on. Tighten up and push. Come on. You got to groove and have fun with it. And then. And do it with me. Come on, hit. Are you ready? Let's go. This is how go. Let's push. Let's push. Hit it. Work out, y'all. Now you got it. Now you did it. Come on. And live. And push. And go. Come on. Give me eight more. Come on. Show this over. Ah, you feel it, don't you? Come on. Put those cords. Put those pads. Here we go. Ready? White out right here. Now sit up. Go. Hit it up. Two and two. Up. Press down. Watch. Hey. Go, come on, give me four more. You gotta tighten up, keep it in the air. Dig, yeah, hit, you got it. Look, walk the shape to me, walk it out, go. Uh, cool, do it again, dog. Hit, now you know what? I know you better be walking like you got some energy like this. Yeah, what you want to come off like this? Hey, not like that, now here we go. Hit, do it again, y'all. Come on, push. Break it up, huh? You got it, do it again. Work it down. We're going to pump it up. Tempo this time. Ready? Let's go. Tighten up. Tighten up. Now, push. Keep going. Hit. Are you ready? Hard it up. Let me play two here. Throw it up in the air. Work it out. Dig it down. Say yeah, y'all. Come on. Ready? Walk it out right here. Walk. Yeah. Pump up. And do it again. You got it? Oh! I think some of my friends are going for it. Yeah. Do it again. Come on. Watch this. Here we go. Hit. Watch this. Right hand. Left right here. Ooh, yeah. All right. We just got that shape. But you know what? We want to go into something called the road down. The key part is we're going to keep those hats nice and tight. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and there. Come on. Let's go. And five. Are you ready to run to the little break? Five. Forty steps to the right. Put the leg behind. Look. Oh, and boom. Yeah. You see that now? I know you're not going to do the break by now, but look. I want you to move to the high. Have a little cup with it. Find your own flavor, but you need to add nice and strong. Now, what I need you to do right here, bring your arms up here. Look. Just like the press it down. Look. Press. Press. Just keep it press. And down. Just stay down here. Look. And go over. Come on. You got it? You feel that? Keep going. Come on. Four and four. And go off. Hit. And three. Now, we're going to go into the throw down now. And here you go. Keep the toes up tight. Now. Keep it going. Look. Go on to the right. Oh, please. Work. Work the open here. See? Feel it. Tighten up as you go. And exhale on the throw. Look. Go. Hit. Down. Push. You can look at it. Mm. Come on. You got that? Step side to side. Right here. Come on. Yeah, just groove that. Just have fun. Come on, I was telling them what you're grooving. But I am, come right here, come on. Keep going, I'm good. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back and do the throw down. Are you ready? Let's go. Throw down, come on. Ah, come on, push. Now once you get used to it, and you can groove in, you gotta go for it. Are y'all going for it? Push that, come on. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Four more, come on. Alright, here we go now. Try to lift the abs. Step side to side. Keep it tight. Look. 
We were on the step side to side. Look, my hat was still tight, and I'm moving. Okay, who's here? Still nice and tight. Come on, back, push. Are you ready? Now, we're going to go into something called press the floor. So what I need you to do is bring your arms up and start to bring your shoulders forward like this. Now, we're here. Lift it up, chin to. Still tight, tight, and I'm here, okay? You got this? Come on now, here we go. Four more, right here. And then your arms are going to go little, big. Here we go, press the floor, high here, push. Oh, now, you can either come here with the function in, or you can just do it. As long as those 
have to say, come on, good. But I'd rather this function because I know you're going for it. Come on, go for it. And ready? Switch it up, I'm going to back up. Yeah. Four, three, keep going. Come on, come on, come Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Alright, so that's that one. Wow, the tray stayed open. Alright, so that's that one. Um, I don't trace it. Already on, open tray, insert goes, power back is done. Off with this game tray. Alright, so the first part is done, now we're doing the app stall. A lot of the moves are the same. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to lift 
my name a little bit off the shelf. Boom, a little bit off the floor, and I'm going to press to my head. Here, tighten it, and put you're going to see it all work here. Make it work. Come on, go for it. Now I'm going to stay here. Bring your feet up. Just a little high. Down. If you see what I'm going to turn to the side, and I'm going to press to my head. Feel it? Just like the edge And breathe through it. Tighten it. Go for it. You got it? Come on. Push it in. Feel it. You can feel yourself. It's okay. Now, I want you to drop your arms a little bit, and I hope you can run out of arms. Push it out. Now, the same thing I just described to you with the core work, I want you to do it here, okay? And lift. Now, just do that, do that. Come on, let's work it out. Then you can throw your hair, you got some hair, then you can throw it back, but don't fall. But you won't fall because you're gaining a strong core. Ready? Let's go, let's go. Just a little faster here. Now, push. Now, see, we're going a little faster now, but I still want you to lift the hip and tighten up. And still exhale as the knee comes up. Two and two, let's get it 
got you right in there, right here. Oh yeah, mm, you got that absolute engagement thing going on. So you know what? We just need to continue and graduate if you want to, but then have the girls like me. And if you don't want to we got Tanya right here. You don't need much, you can still get that absolute engagement. But come again, you ready? Here we go. Now, I need you to plan to be nice to watch. Now, what we need to do is every time you do this, you got to really start to feel for work. So exhale and tighten through. Exhale again, tighten through. Come on. Absolute engagement right here, full in effect. Now here we go. This is the way it's up. We're going to start to twist. Take your right arm, pull it over. Look. Pull and center. You got it. Pull and center, okay? Tilt the shoulders over here and tilt. Now start to tuck the hips under. Tuck it under and push. And tuck it under and push. The core is just working. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Now add your heel, y'all. Look, look. Add your heel. Make it a little more funky. Hit up. Are y'all making it funky? Push. Are you doing it? Come on, go. In and back now. In. Pull in. Exhale. Feel it work. Feel it work. Ready? Let's go simple for this. Let's rock it out. Rock it out. I said rock it out. Push it out. Now listen. Tell me you feel it. Feel it. Feel it, feel it y'all. Feel it. Now if you say feel it, you know you can track it. Next time, all the way into it, you got to do it tight. You're doing a great job. 
for sure, okay? Now remember to get busy, remember to get busy, you know to get busy. Bring your heart to your tears, squeeze it tight, right arm goes back, I said back, back, and back, now forward and up, big squeeze right here, I shake, yeah, right left, come on, now groove. Now this time I'm just gonna show you look. Let's start to stretch the hamstring and you're going to stretch your lower back. Because, you know what? As you work 
before your whole back of the year is called absolute game game to get into that one. Take a deep breath in. Exhale down. Touch your toes if you can. Now tie your thumb out of time. I mean, you know that you're watching us and you're going to go for it. I'm not doing this. Bring your hands to if you're not as flexible, but do your hands, but do your calves. But I'm really going to take it to my toes so I can just move through. Keep it tight. Inhale up. Lift. Exhale down as your hands come down. Roll it back through and pull. Yeah, that feels good. Keep it rounded. Ah, bring the deep in. Bring the feet in closer to me. Pull it in. Now keep the whole back. Slap the foot. It's really important, okay? Pull it in right here. Ready? Now switch it to the other side. And go. Pull it in right here. Lift. And two. You got it. Four. And three. Back it up. Uh, uh. Other side. Come on. Here. Pull it in, stretch it out. Ready? Other side. Switch it up. Four. You are amazing. You feel amazing? Pull both knees in. Now, it's very important that you just get stronger and stronger every day. It's really important for you to stretch because it really helps your muscles recover. Exhale out. And most importantly, your amazing abs that you're about to have if you don't have them already. Now, roll over here. Okay? Roll them up to your stuff. Now, we're just going to stretch out these abs that you work them. For a little bit today. Now, elbows down and hands open. Get to the ground, squeeze the boot. Now press up just a little bit right here. Press up. Ah, squeeze the boot. Press it into the floor. Rock it out right here. Deep the abs. Long the knees. Stretch them out. Ready? Now take it back down slower. Yeah. Now listen. Bring your hands back. Let's stay with Tyler if you want to. I'm going to get a deeper stretch. So that's it. That's it for the workouts for recovery week. Um, tomorrow, as every Sunday, is stretch day. Uh, so I'll find a YouTube video. Uh, YouTube influencer. Roughly 30 minute stretch. Uh, one that I haven't done yet. It seems to be like, what I, I kind of like doing that. I kind of like checking the other guys out. Um, that way it gives anybody watching a chance to check some other people out as well. Um, and of course, all those videos will be linked in the description uh, with all their channel information. The channel will be tagged uh, in the description, um, linked directly to the video, full description of what their video says, at least the full title. And you know, um, and then it will be added to my stretch videos playlist on um, YouTube, so you can go directly to. stretch videos. And if you like them, you want to do them, go, go do them, go subscribe to them, go like their video, whatever. Uh, most of those um, stretch videos I do are from influencers that actually have their own um, fitness training channels. Uh, a lot of them will have a lot of free stuff available for you on their channel. That will work just fine. Um, you don't want to go as intense as I'm getting into with mine. Uh, mine's not easy to follow along with me because I'm not really teaching you. I'm not, I'm not instructing the, the exercise. I'm just doing it. And, um, I don't want to say allowing you to watch. I'm sharing it with you guys um, just so you can see what I'm doing and how well, how well or how little it's working for me um, so far, how well. But yeah, uh, I'm not selling you anything at this point <laughs> yet, anyway. Uh, I'm just saying, hey, this is what I'm doing. I want to show you that it can work. Uh, you can start small, build upon it. You can stay, start small and stay small. You can go big or go home. <laughs> whatever, whatever saying you want to use. 
Uh, I started very small with this routine, um, and I'm still kind of kind of in getting in the center of it. Um, each each segment builds upon the last segment as far as intensity goes. So um, again, this was just recovery week. I'm using beach body videos. Uh, again, those are all available on Beach Body On Demand or BeachBody.com, uh, where you can get a lot of their products and programs. And Highly recommend beach body programs. Okay. I don't like their stretches, some of the stretches at the end of their videos, but their programs are pretty good. Uh, they're, they're tested. They're obviously like, well. I, I saw I saw an article, um, maybe not an article, a Reddit post or something, something that was tagged on Google, and I was trying to look up to see how old hip hop apps, what Turbo Jam was, or something like that. Um, P90X. That was the one. I wanted to see when that came out, which I think was 2008, by the way. 2006. 2006. Somewhere around there. Um, but the question, the question that popped up was, um, does P90X still work today? I mean, does it still work today? Every exercise still works today. Exercises work. That's what, they're, that's what they do. You can walk. And that's an exercise. So why wouldn't something more intense than walking and swimming and running uh, work? <laughs> People ask stupid questions. It's just, yeah, I don't believe in that whole, there's no dumb questions, only you know, dumb answers. No, there's dumb questions. There's absolutely dumb questions. Um, there's ignorant questions. Those aren't dumb, those are ignorant. So you don't know um, because you choose not to know. Like, for example, does P90X still work today? Could be asking if bench presses still work today. You know? Now, there are exercises that you find that are not necessarily as beneficial as you thought they were, but if it worked, it's going to work. Uh, so, anyway, um, each body has good products. I love the Turbo Jam videos. I liked P90X a lot. It worked very well the first time I used it. Second time, not so much. I don't know why. Uh, but it was years apart anyway. But uh, maybe because it wasn't as in good shape. Um, but it's a good workout. Uh, the hip hop ad videos, they're fun, but they're. Mm, I don't think they're great, but they do. They do do work. They do do work. They do 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 work. Uh, they do work as long as you put the effort in. To a point. Uh, I think I kind of fell back by doing those as opposed to the Turbo Jam warm ups on the cardio aspect and fat loss, but I, I can't guarantee for sure. Um, but I'm sweating right now, so yeah. Uh, can you flex your arm, please? It's not much of a flex, but I haven't really done any arm work. Um, not really much there. It's better than what it was when I started three months ago, but there's really not much there. I still have some, like, pinch the fat, <laughs> the extra skin, the fat here. Might see something decent there, you know, to the point. So, there you go. <laughs> I don't know if you're still there. No, if you're not, sorry, I was late. Uh, it's getting there. Kind of like I said, I'm anxious to see uh, how it's going to look in the, after the next six weeks. Uh, next week, six weeks, it's going to be a harder workout. So, uh, same workout, more intense. Um, different set to rep, rep ratio, which means heavier weights as well. So, um, So yeah, any of those stretch videos that I do. Can you move your chest if you do it? I will follow. Uh, move, you mean like flex the packs? I don't really have enough to do it. I'm not taking my shirt off um, to do that because I don't, I'm still I'm fat. I'm fat. Um, I don't know, can you, can you see it? 
Maybe not. I can see, I can see that thing moving, that dragon moving. I never really, never really did that because I never really had actually a chest that... I can move it, but it's covered in a layer of fat. Uh, so, I still have, I still have boob, I still have man boob left. That, that, that's all man boob there. Done pension. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, but those, those uh, fitness influencers that I use their, their videos for my stretch videos, go follow them if you like them, if you like the videos that I'm doing. Uh, if you want to do the stretches that I'm doing on, the, on, on Sundays, go, go do it off of their video, not, not mine. I think that would be a fair thing to do since it is their video and they are actually in the instructing mode to do so uh, as opposed to me over here I'm trying to make sure I'm at a good angle for you guys all to see what I'm doing but there's obviously their cameras and their uh, videos are set up to be instructional versus one if that makes any sense so yeah that's that um, So yeah, we start at 3 at 10 on Monday, uh, plus interval training. We are back to Turbo Jam videos uh, for the warm-ups, uh, I believe. Uh, I tried to start my first six weeks uh, with the 1 and 30 uh, when I haven't worked out in like two years. I tried to start off by doing the 20-minute workout, uh, the ab jam, and then the fat blaster jam. Whatever the fuck it's called, um, which basically, if you know anything about Turbo Jam, they have in their cardio videos they have something called the Turbo, turbo, jam, turbo where they basically do about a minute and a half of a lot higher intensity, um, slightly higher intensity um, cardio on top of the regular cardio in there. Um, so they want you to kind of go as, as hard as you can for about a minute and a half. Um, so what this Fat Blaster video does is it takes um, all their turbos from whatever was whatever video was released at the time. Like, you know, that would be like, I believe, Cardio Party 1, Cardio Party 2, uh, the 20 minute workout. Um, probably couple other ones because I think I think that one's in a different studio. Uh, so that might even include the second the second iteration of the Turbo Jam, second generation of the Turbo Jams, whatever. So probably the punch kick and jam video and the cardio party three, things like that. So what they do is they take those <coughs> turbo sections and then they make a routine out of them. Uh, just like anything else. But they, they're like, all right, we're gonna start you off doing this. Okay. Now you're gonna add to this. All right. So now you're doing this. Okay. Now you're doing this. Here, this. And then from here to here, you go here, and now you're gonna do this. You know, and then they just build upon it until they get to the point where they get the whole, you know, you know, it takes about probably about three, four, or five minutes. You get the whole routine down, and they go, okay, now we're gonna do the turbo. And they do it with the turbo. They do it do it as fast. Then they take a little like 30 seconds to calm to chill out, then they start the next routine the same way. They do, they do part of the moves, do the second part, put it together, do the third part, put it together, do the fourth part, put it together, whatever, and they do turbo. Um, and it's about 30 minutes. Now, I started that, uh, that would have been the third day that I did this, um, the very third day, that would have been April 13th, April 13th. Um, would have been the day that I did that. Um, Saturday afternoon, we're going to shoot dead. Um, and it was, it was honestly too intense for me at the time. So, um, I put in the learn and burn, which is as basic as you're going to get with the Turbo Jam videos. Now you can make it more intense, uh, by doing it harder, but you can only go so far, obviously, with with certain things, and still follow along. Now, rag, you can make it as hard as you hard as you want, but again, 
you only go so far. It was 15 minutes, and it was on leg day. So I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't want to go like super hard on leg day, you know, before I start doing leg day. Um, especially when I was getting winded going up to replies and steps. Um, or my legs were shaking if I kind of did, if I just did one of these things, you know, real fast just to make it try to pop my ankles or, you know, heels or my, my knees and they'll hold like back and everything cracks. Um, I would do, I would, just, something like this would cause my legs to shake for like a minute or so because it's like, it's just like that was enough extra work <laughs> for my body at that time and that's something like that was, I was, uh, was horrible. I hated it. I hated it so bad. I hated myself at that point. Um, so yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to go too hard and fuck up my workout. So I did that and it worked. It worked just fine. But at this point, I'm like, ah, uh, it's kind of kind of not quite as intense as I want to do it. Um, and after doing the hips, butts, and thighs on leg day, after going with going heavier on the weights, um, I think I can go ahead and do that again. I do I do want to look at this lower body jam, but I have a feeling it's going to be considering the turbo jam the way the turbo jam does it, uh, it's going to be an actual leg workout. You know, as much as turbo jam is going to do a leg workout. So it'll probably be a lot of lunges and squats and things like that. Basically, the stuff that we did in the um, turbo sculpt video, just for the lower half. But I want to I want to take a look at it because I haven't really looked at it in a long time. Um, just kind of basically uh, put all the videos onto uh, burn discs so like they fit all more. But then again, I don't do an upper body jam on <laughs> on on the two upper body days. I do the ab the ab jam as a warm up for the abs and additional abs on top of the, the workouts that I do, which is the reason part of the reason why I only do three ab exercises each day, on the, you know, as opposed to doing a full ab workout. I do the ab jam in the beginning. Um, honestly, eight years ago, my ab workout was ab. A week. Um, so that's, that's a pretty intense one to do, I think. So, um, totally heard it pops. So, I would do that and then do the rest of my workout on the machine and or dumbbells or whatever I could do. Um, squats at the time were basically two, I would hold two dumbbells in my hand and I would do, do what I could, do, could, do, could for squats. You know, come down like this, do these squats like that. You put the barbell between my legs and did whatever you, the fuck you call that, that squat there. Um, Anything I could do to actually do a squat without having to try to finagle a bar over my head since I didn't have a squat rack. Um, so the heavier that gets, the harder it is to get proper, you know, especially in a limited space like this. I kind of had to do one of these things, you know, it's not really working very well. It's very dangerous to do it that way. Um, Again, part of the reason why I started going to the gym when my friend at the time was like, Oh, come to the gym, help me work out. It's like, it's like you. And he's like, Hey, you work out, you work with me. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm excited uh, for the next segment. Want join me again tomorrow for stretch day? Uh, TikTok, Instagram. That's not TikTok. That's TikTok. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch. All the same usernames, uh, along with my Facebook, which I might start live streaming on Facebook as well. Um, maybe. Maybe. I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, so, if you're checking them out on one platform, you want to check them out on the other, that's fine. 
you're watching me on TikTok and you want to go see the videos that are on YouTube, same username. Uh, you want to see my progress pictures, they're on Instagram, same username. Twitch is just Twitch. Um, I just live stream on there. And uh, that's about it. So, uh, but yeah, uh, all the workout videos go to YouTube. Obviously, I edit them down, put text over them and everything, and all that fun shit. Uh, and then I upload those as close to the same day as possible. They are up. They are updated. They are up to date as of yesterday's. So they are up to date. Um, all the rest of the videos that I make um, go to TikTok first, because that's my main account. That's where I try to I spend most of my online time. Is on TikTok. Uh, so they are in the fitness journey and the highlight video playlist where all those videos are. So weekly highlight video is just basically like two, two and a half, three minute video uh, uh, with some music overlay. Just me doing exercises. <laughs> so uh, they're, they're, uh, they're basically for me pretty much just because I, I enjoy looking at the fat go away. When I'm doing my crunches and stuff, you know, notice that my stomach's getting flatter, um, and watching all the weight get heavier each week. That's kind of cool. Um, so that's in the weekly workout highlight reel playlist, and then all the weekly updates and the information about the workout uh, is in the fitness training playlist. Uh, they're right there at the right there when you to my page on TikTok. Um, I think the first playlist, the first playlist now, is, it's, it's a, it says RIP Tribute. Um, I, make, I make videos for, you know, tribute videos. I know there's nothing special, but I make little tribute videos for um, any celebrities that have passed, that have either touched me, inspired me, you know what I mean, <laughs> touched me, inspired me, um, Or I just grew up enjoying, you know, like Betty White, Bob Saget, James Kent just died, uh, James Conn, James Conn, sorry. Um, Ray Liotta, uh, Naomi Judd, so there's just a few of those in there. First one in there is kind of just not really a tribute video, but um, that I wasn't doing that at the time, I wasn't thinking about it. Or else I probably would have made a tribute video back then too, but um, Meatloaf, um, Gilbert Godfrey, things like that. I started it with Betty White, I think. I started making it with Betty White. Um, and then I did it with Bob Saget. I was like, I'll just keep doing this. Um, again, nothing special. Nothing, I'm not trying to be brag about it, that I'm making these things much, but I make them because People like grew up like Bob Saget was a pseudo dad growing up. You know, um, not that my dad wasn't there. Speaking of which, today would have been my dad's. Yeah, today would have been my dad's 75th birthday. He passed away on June July 7th, two days ago. Um, two days before his birthday uh, in 2010. Two days before his 60. Third birthday, so yeah, he'd be, he would have been 75 today. I got from my thing, I called him off. See how she's doing today. Um, so yeah, but anyway, um, right next to that one is the two, the two other playlists. I have other playlists on there. I can scroll up forever and get, get through all of them, but they're they're right there at the front. So if you want to look at those, they're there. Um, all the update, the weekly update videos and the weekly highlight videos also get shared to Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, uh, as well as YouTube. So.
So YouTube has all the videos, um, TikTok video, all the TikTok videos, and all the workouts. So they're all there on YouTube. Um, it's rambling for shit. Instagram gets the weekly videos as well as the progress pictures. So those are up. Um, so if you want to see the progress pictures uh, by themselves without having to watch a video, they're right there on Instagram. Yeah, that's it. TikTok's my main account, so if you want to communicate with me, I would prefer if you went, if you went through TikTok. That doesn't mean you have to. Uh, I was uh, chatting with some guy on YouTube last night on one of my videos, uh, off, off of one of my videos, I guess. Um, this person on, on Twitch jumped in here and wanted me to flex for him. Her, him. I don't know. Christy, Christy, I think, I think it's a sheep. Uh, never know based off the usernames. But, um, so. I have people on Twitch in my lives, I have people on uh, TikTok in my lives, and I'll chat with them too. So, But I would prefer the communication off of live to go through TikTok um, on one of the fitness training playlist videos or the Q&A feature, um, or even a highlight reel video. It has anything to do with this. It's just <laughs> posted on something that has to do with this. Uh, that way I can make a video response to your comments. That's the preferred way for me to answer you, make a video response. Because uh, then I can talk up, up the three minutes, as opposed to just typing out, you know, a few words here and there, or, you know, depending on which platform you're on. You know, I, think, I think YouTube, I can just keep going as much as I need to. I've got like 150 characters here, 240 on uh, Instagram or on Twitter, I don't know, they're limited on some places, so, plus it's a little more personal, I think, if I make a video reply to it, um, and get more content, plus plus. Anyway, that's it.